All right, I'm back with some more Swords and Sandals Immortals, and we are continuing the journey of Crixus the Gaul. Last time, we challenged the third of the Grand Champions, and it was the Pop himself. And well, the Pop may have defeated us in the first battle, but we struck back, and he is no more. So the plan for today is simple. We are going to march south to the forest and try to become the regional champion there. Then we will go even further south to High Hasseldor, where we will try to become the regional champion there. And once we have done that, we should be in a position where we can challenge grand champion number four. So that being said, it is time to march. There is no point hanging around. We have arrived at the forest. I guess we check out the arena and see what the most powerful guy is. Okay, it's a level 28, 172 power score. This should be a pretty straightforward place, to be honest with you. We are probably way over leveled for this. We will challenge the skeleton. He is a charismatic fellow. We'll see what happens. Can you kill what is already dead? Is that possible? Then again, we are Crixus the Gaul. We can just cave in the skeleton's ribcage. So even if it can't die... It won't be moving by the time we're done. Alright, there goes like 90% of his armor. And he fell asleep on us. Oh no, he drunk a portion of attack, but it looked like he fell asleep on us. How does a skeleton drink a portion? Does it, does it not just fall out? I don't know. There goes the remainder of his armor. Can we just unholy smite the man and get this over and done with? We don't have the unholy smite, we have unholy heal. Scrap that idea, we'll just power attack and kill him. Well, as I said, this area is going to be pretty easy, so I will see you at the regional champion. Alright, it is time to face the regional champion. Some of the gladiators we just fought awarded us 0 XP because apparently our level difference is too high to reward us. How are we this over leveled? Is Crixus the Gold just that great? Or did I just go on a grind of a lifetime? <laughs> did my loss to the first Grand Champion scare me that much that I have now just made sure I am always over leveled? Are we going overboard? But either way, we shall head to the arena and challenge the champion. Okay, 217 power score, pretty similar to our current power score. One of the great defenders of the forest, the Word of Orc. We're versing Groot, lads. We're gonna beat up Groot. What kind of stats are we looking at here? Stamina, Vitality, and Intellect. Fair enough. He's a smart little tree. <laughs> you have to roll an 8. We rolled a 2. We're not off to a good start. We'll unholy smite, see if we can get an early hit in. Okay, Groot blocked that. All right, Groot. We need to break that shield of his. The shield is going to cause us a lot of issues. It's going to affect our accuracy, so we need to break it. Oh, man. We're getting stressed out, lads. Crixus is getting stressed out. Little quick attack just to inspire him a little bit. Barbarian Storm. There we go. Um, what do we do? What do we do? The Leap Alliance? Nice, we have broken the shield. Okay, we should get an accuracy increase. That is great. We'll just stab him in the head. Why not? Give him a little power attack as well. Okay, and now the Warrior Strike is back. We can get rid of more of this armor. Because I won't lie, lads, Groot is a tank. Okay, a cheeky stab to the head. <laughs> he has electrocuted us, which is a bit annoying. Alright, here we go. What do we have here, lads? The Barbarian Storm. Alright, we should probably take a little nap, actually. Why not? The Leaper Lions, and he's blocked it again. This is tragic. Alright, power attack. Nope. And now we're frozen. Another power attack. There we go. 
We're going to use the human spirit, I think. Get rid of this uh, frozen effect. What do we have? He still has armor, so we could use the warrior strike. And he's blocked it again. Okay. Okay, tree, you're tougher than you look, buddy. The mighty smash. There we go. We'll just rest for a moment. Don't mind me. Taking a nap. The leap of lions. And that's it. His armor is gone. Right. Now we can just start cleaning up, I think. Come on. Nope. He can still block our attacks. Oh, man. This guy. This tree. What is it going to take to put this tree down for good? That is the question. Maybe a quick attack to finish him off with an 84% accuracy if we don't hit this tree. Oh man, this tree. Just die. <laughs> there we go. The tree is gone. All hail Crixus, the champion of the forest. All right, we have arrived at the next area. We're going to check out the armor and the weaponsmith, see if they have anything new. These boots kind of look a bit cool, to be honest with you. They do give us 40 more armor, so I think we'll buy those boots. That's it in terms of the armor. I don't know if the weaponsmith will have anything. We do have like a 40 damage sword, so to be honest with you, I think we're good for quite a while. Yeah. Nothing in the weaponsmith. Alright, you know the drill, lads. We are going to challenge the toughest gladiator here, which is this level 30, 184 power skeleton. If we defeat the skeleton, we will run through all the others, and I will see you at the grand... Well, no, not the grand champion, the regional champion. Alright, skeleton, give it your best shot. We killed your pal in the other region, so I will happily kill you in this region. There goes half his armor, and he just threw his sword at me. Ah, all right, if that's how you want to play, you can use your little shank, my friend. Don't complain if you now die as a result of uh, not having... Hold on. All right, well, the skeleton is now broken, but just before his morale broke, he got a cheeky healing. This guy. All right, you know what? Barbarian Storm, that gets rid of the armor and the mighty smash. He's still alive. Fair play. Now we just jump for him. <laughs> when in doubt, just jump at the man. Alright, well, I will see you at the regional champion. Alright, we have defeated the gladiators. We have leveled up. It is time to head back to the arena and take a look at the regional champion. Okay, 220 power. Again, we are slightly higher. We have not run into a regional champion like that one place that had a random 230 power champion. Oh no, we are this in some battle maiden. More skilled than a legendary battle maiden. That is a lot of armor. Okay, she is absolutely stacked in agility and strength. I'm not surprised. Mainly because... She has a bow, so I would have thought agility would be her best bet. This means when she walks backwards, she's going to leap halfway across the map. Which could cause a bit of an issue for us. And we don't get any... Oh, told you lads, she is gone. Oh no. With agility... Oh, come on. This is not good. This is not good at all. Right, just keep blocking, Crixus, my friend. Just keep blocking... You can do it. Half our armor is gone. All right. You know what? Leap of lions attack. Where is she gone? What? What was that? What was that about? All right. Leap again. <laughs> there goes all of our armor. She just wholly smited all of our armor. This is not good, lads. This is not good at all. She is causing a lot of problems for us. All damage we take is halved. Okay, that might help us a little bit. We're going to have to Mighty Smash to get the stun. If we can get an Unholy Smite while she's knocked out like this, that would be great. Nope. 
This is not good at all. I think we might genuinely lose this one. This is it. It is over. We have been defeated. How is one supposed to defeat a woman who can jump halfway across the map in a single jump? We do have a good amount of stars. Is there an ability we could learn that might assist us? Teleport to your opponent, strike them, oh, and then teleport back. Oh, if it didn't have that teleport back, that would be great. <laughs> oh, here we go. Teleport. Teleport far from your enemy or close to them, depending on your location. All right, we're going to buy that for 66 stars. I'd like to see you run away now, my friend. <laughs> All right, regional champion, we are back. And she just jumped over our head. Fair enough, okay. Yep, you can jump over our head. That, that's fine by me, as long as you just don't jump to the other side of the map. That was where the issues came from. You can jump over my head all you want. Right, what do we have? Bit of a barbarian storm, I think. We'll just lunge attack. Right, she's getting more and more stressed, lads. This is great. Cheeky power hit. That's it. Just keep getting stressed out. It is fine. Compared to last fight, this fight is going completely different. What is going on here? Oh, and she's broken. Maybe now's a good time to unholy smite. Nice, there goes all the armor. Now we just have to take out the health and we're done here. All right, she leaped halfway across the map. You think you're safe? We have pre Oh, we don't have the stamina. Bear with me. We're just going to rest up for a second. You think you're safe over there? <laughs> and we have arrived. Time for your death. Fear, Crixus, the teleporting god. No one sees it come in, lads. No one can think Crixus now has teleportation powers. All right, that is a pretty good helmet, so I think we'll take the helmet. I'm not in a rush for some money, so I might take the stars. Normally, we take the stat boost, but to be honest, intelligence might just be wasted on me. I don't know if it's really of use to us, so... I'll just take some stars. Maybe we can learn a new ability or something. All right. And now that the second of the regional champions has been defeated, as I said, the plan is we are going to challenge the fourth grand champion. It's going to cost us 26 stars. It's getting slightly more expensive each time. Grand champion four. Who is it going to be? Once a chancellor for the Iron Republic, Marie was betrayed by her brother. So now she fights in the arena. Oh no. That's the last thing you want to fight, lads. Someone that's built on pure rage. A skeleton with insane agility and defense. Although, we just saw what happens if we fight someone with insane agility. We can now attack them with our teleportation ability. She's level 30 and with a power score 246. We got quite the fight on our hands, lads. We have quite the fight. Can we get the initial roll? That would be great. We cannot. Okay. Oh, hold up. She jumps quite far. Can we lunge from here? Uh, not really. Although we did get a dodge, which means we should have hit. Uh, we're still slightly too far away. I'll use the Leaping Lions. She's nearly out of stamina already, so unless she has some portions or abilities up her sleeve, she's going to have to rest soon. And I guess that is when we make our move. Well, it is as I said, lads. She is taking a nap, okay? What do we have here, then? Maybe a mighty smash get the stun. So now that she wakes up, she's also stunned. And I didn't mean to rest. Okay, that was that was the wrong button there. Um, what do we have? We just stab her in the head and break her helmet. Okay, we damaged the helmet. We didn't break it. But now our special is activated and we basically can't miss. So we'll just attack a bit more. 
Oh, come on. 17 armor? Really? Really? There we go. The helmet is broke. How far backwards did she go? She went quite far backwards. Should we... Oh, we can't use any skills because we're electrified. Alright, we should be in range now. There we go. Uh, skills. What do we... Oh, no. We're still not quite in range. There we go. <laughs> what? What? What just happened? She's now hopeless, but she just turned into bones. She just collapsed. Okay, right. Mighty strike. Get this over and done with. Come on. No more prisoners. Leap Alliance. We're finishing this once and for all. All attacks do critical damage. That is great. We're just going to hit the power attack. She's on 15 health. Lunge. We can't lunge. We're frozen. All right. The human spirit. And now we will... Oh, she walked towards us anyway. Okay, and smack. <laughs> that is the fourth grand champion defeated. Do we get enough XP to level up? We do. That is always nice. Marie has fallen. You have defeated four of the 12 grand champions. Ah, it feels good, lads. It feels good. We're going to take that plus one charisma. And we'll just take some more stars. Why not? We should probably take some portions. I always complain we don't have any. All right. And with the defeat of the Grand Champion, it is time to move on to our next mission. Where do we head from here? We have a 32 area down to the south. But I think north of us, there are 228 areas. There's a 30 there. So I guess if we keep following the order, which we have been doing... We will have to go to this 28 here, Hallen Fort. Then we will go up to the caverns. And once we've done that, either we'll see some new areas in this place, or we will then have to head to the level 30. Well, I think that's going to be the plan anyway. We're going to hit up these 228 areas, complete both of those, and maybe we'll be ready for Grand Champion 5. But that is going to be it for this part of Crixus the Gaul and our Swords and Sandals playthrough. As always, a big thank you to the Gwaggles members for your continued support. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya.